So today we're going to be talking about the difference between scalar quantities and vector quantities. But before we do that, I'll explain all of that in a second. I want to tell you about my daily commute into Cochrane High School. So this is uh, what Google Maps looks like when I drive into Cochrane. So I start from here in Calgary and I drive out onto Stony Trail and then over onto the 1A into Cochrane where I turn right and into Cochrane High School. Now, the whole trip, if you trust Google, the whole trip from my house to uh, into work is 33 kilometers. So what that means is that this whole distance here as you drive along all of here, the total distance we're traveling is 33 kilometers. However, if I were to take a line and draw it from Cochrane High School to my house, let's draw a line in like this here, something like that, boom. If I were to draw a line in like that, a direct path from my house to Cochrane High School is uh, a little bit shorter. Let's call it, let's just call it 25 kilometers. It's probably a little more than that. But if you were to go as the bird flies, you'd be going 25 kilometers. And this is a really good example of um, a difference between a scalar quantity and a vector quantity. So let's define these here for a second. A scalar quantity is a, a quantity that is both magnitude, or a scalar quantity is just magnitude. So the distance that we travel uh, with all those little changes along the way as we drive would be considered a scalar qual quantity. This is a magnitude, all right? Only magnitude. However, a vector quantity has the magnitude, how far you've gone in the case of like a distance, magnitude, but it also has directions. So this one here is 33 kilometers west. Now, here's what would distinguish between the two of them if we were to write, um, if we were to write what that would look like. A scalar quantity here, let's make sure we can see that. A scalar quantity here, we would call this the distance that we would travel, okay? So this would be the distance, we would call that D. However, if you were to go just as the bird flies from the point at my house started and that straight line, this is called our displacement, all right? And we write that with this little arrow over top. Let me just make sure you guys can see that. We write that with that little arrow over top, distance displacement. And this doesn't have to just be, when we talk about scalar versus vector, this doesn't have to just be with um, direction or distance traveled. We can do this with speed and velocity, scalar vector. So what we're going to talk about over the next course of the next two videos is we are going to talk about the differences between these two and we're going to look at it from a couple different ways. So remember, scalar is just the magnitude, all right? Vector is magnitude plus a direction. So let's go ahead and try these guys out. 